Hello, welcome to another episode of North Country Ham. This episode I wanted to hit on my 991A, the menu settings I use, and show you the, the software that I, I got with it um, for, for programming. The, the menus I'm talking are mainly for what communicates, what I found to work really well communicating with my computer and use with all the digital and ham software programs that I've got installed. You know, it, it seems to be able to work really well that way. And I wanted to share that in, in hopes that maybe it'll help you get your radio set up if you've got a 991A and, and get on the air with it. So, stay tuned. All right, back in March uh, of this year, I purchased my 991A, um, and you know, so I've had it for a few months now. I really like it. Um, when I purchased it, I did, however, buy the the programming software with it. Uh, it's here. The uh, it's ADMS 991. It works with the 991 and the 991A. Uh, the software, I think it was probably about $30 I paid for the software. And it really has made it work very easily uh, back and forth programming my, my rig. Um, I'll show you briefly a little bit on the program software. And then I'll transition and show you, uh, go through physically the menu settings and which ones I've changed and which ones I left on default and hopefully that'll help you set your radio up and get working with digital that much faster. Um, yeah, I will post, uh, show a link or in the, in the description, uh, a timestamp for if you want to skip ahead to just the menu part um, and, you know, to help you with that. So let's get to it. All right, so this is the programming that you can purchase to go along with your 991A. Uh, cost a cost me about thirty dollars at the time when I purchased it with the radio um, it comes basically as the programmer as well as a menu editor so you could save all of your, all your work and changes you've done when you write it to your radio or pull it from your radio once you have everything set you can save the file and give yourself a backup as a fail safe if something was to happen um, some something changes or say you reflash uh, re-image your radio or something you know with new firmware and say your menus get changed you can write them back to the radio and you're back up and running with how you had all your settings you see it's very simple and straightforward uh, you know your receive and transmit frequencies offsets and your tones name them name what you want I've got primarily what I have on mine for save channels is all 2 meter or 70 cm for all the local repeaters and some simplex for like using um, uh, Winlink and it's pretty straightforward you know you can set all your once you get everything how you want it you save it and you can write it to the radio you, you come up here okay, get data from radio or send to radio it's all right there um, Along with that, I'll show you this, you get to pop back up here, the menu editor. This, uh, you know, you can do just your menus, too, instead of all of your frequencies. And you can see there's a lot here you can change all, and this is almost like probably all your settings and menus in the radio as well. So you can set everything here and then uh, flash it to the radio. So, you know, you can see there's quite a bit here for everything. And, you know how you've got everything set or pulled from the radio so it, it really makes it nice um, it very easy to use I really I had my 991 set up and running very quickly and able to get right into using it um, I really found this programming very user-friendly and uh, so with that let's take you over to the radio and show you all the different menu settings that I use on mine how I've currently got it set where it communicates and works well with my computer and any of the software or programs for digital mode or ham radio that I've got 
Okay, this is my Yesu 991A uh, had this radio for oh about eight months now. Uh, still learning it, still getting to handle on some of the stuff, but it's really enjoyable. And I wanted to share the menu settings and how I've got this rig set up so it works easily in conjunction with my laptop or computer on any of the digital modes and programs. I'm going to go through the entire menu listing and show you how I've currently got it set up and what settings I've left it to defaults and which ones I've changed to other um, settings that seem to work for any of the digital modes. So maybe that'll give you a good starting point if you've got this particular radio for any of your settings. Let me get this readjusted so we can see the menus. Obviously with this radio, you know, you've got your function button, which is some of your main functions sweeping, you know, with the back and forward to transition the submenus to different functions that will help you bring in your signals. But the menu we want to go over today is the main menu setup. Now, Yesus, yes, are very menu driven. Let me get this adjusted so we can see the menus a little better. Um, I'm going to go through all of them. Uh, so, you know, menu one. Anything you see... Yeah, repeater's going off on us. <laughs> part, of, part of going live. Okay, now as you can see here, your menus, anything that you see in blue on the side here, these are going to be default. And anytime you're going through, well, as soon as you make a change in the settings, it'll turn white um, text. And when it's blue, that's the default setting. So as you can see here, settings 1 through 3, I left them all on the defaults. For your uh, delays, multifunction, I left it at the scope. Um, my call, some of this stuff is uh, my display color. I I left it at blue. I kind of like the looks of it, and I've got my some of my other settings like my scope and spectrum different colors that I like. Um, I'm just going to kind of scroll through the settings here so you can see which ones I left at default and what ones I actually changed that work. Um, you know, keyer type, I left it at his uh, key, electric keyer for right now until I advance further into my amateur radio perspectives. Um, the main ones you want to look through, um, contest number, you can set that when you're doing contests and stuff to probably identify yourself a little more. I got to learn a little more on that particular menu part. The ones you're looking for are like which port you're using for data, um, whether it's a DTR, RTS, those type of, or CAT, those are the settings you're looking through. And you're going to look through it as well as for your digital um, Vox. As you can see here, I've got it set digital Vox. Um, so that way when the computer digitally tells it to key up, it will. Um, I know we'll get through this here. A lot of these menus, I've left them right at default for right now. It seems to work really well for where I'm at. Um, time zone, obviously I set it for my time zone. Um, right here, my uh, baud rate, I've got it at the 38400 BPS. Um, it seems to work really good on a lot. You know, So on the baud rates, the cat rate, as you can see, I've got it set to that. Um, let's see here, CAT RTS is all enabled. You want to make sure that's good, so that way that'll operate with your computers. You want to leave that enabled. Okay, come on. We're going to be coming up to into some of these. A lot of this stuff, I, I just left it right at default because it doesn't seem to affect what I'm using so far and any of the bands or anything that I'm using. The ones that really get into... As you can see here, your your AM push to talk select port select. I've got it set to the RTS and USB. USB is for the port in the back of the radio. Um, instead of going in through one of your uh, serial port or something like that, I'm going through the USB. Now with this rig, I don't need a like a signal link or anything like that. I could just right out of the USB of the back radio right into a USB connection in my radio uh, in my computer, so it works really well that way. 
any of those I set the same settings whether it's um, the AM as you can see it goes through a bunch of CW stuff PC keying I get it set to RTS data mode I set it to others now on data mode you've got you hit select highlights it you have PSK or others and I leave it on others um, seem, and then enter to select it and it goes back to where now I can go through PSK is the default but others that way any of the modes you're doing is what's going to allow it to operate uh, your cutouts and all that I left alone for the scopes data in select and uh, data PTT data in select is in the rear because that's where we want it to go into the rear of the radio your push to talk select for data I've got it on the RTS and the USB as you can see I've switched it to that those are menus 71 and 72 and here, here is for FM um, push to talk and port select and you see I've changed both of those to RTS and USB now this is what has worked for me um, over the last eight months doing um, whether it's FL Digi or um, w um, SJTX uh, doing FT8 mode and all that these are the settings I allow 500 kilohertz uh, not sure why that shift it might that may be something um, separate that I don't remember changing that one Not sure what the default is on that one, but it was at 500. I'm just going to leave it right at 500. I don't recall changing that one, but I may have some for some reason. Let's continue on through some more of these menus. You can see a lot of them I've just left right alone. Kept it simple, and that really seems to work for what I've done so far. And let's see. You can see that there is a lot of menu sections here. <laughs> and here is for your single sideband. I've changed those also. So that way any mode I decide to go into, band-wise, what have you, I've got them all set the same, so I shouldn't have an issue. This is on the display part. You know, you can see here the display mode. I've got the waterfall, so it shows the waterfall. You can change it so it's just your uh, spectrum is by default. So that it only shows a spectrum at that point. Um, but I've got it so it's waterfall. So it shows, it'll actually show both the spectrum and the waterfall. And you can see here, one of the other that I've changed is the spectrum color. I left it at, I turned it to red. I, I just like how it stands out. But you get a lot of different color options there. Waterfall color, I left it at multi, so it shows you, it stands out, you know, a lot of your darker areas will be in kind of like a bluish haze to black, and when you've got good signals, it's um, red, orange, and yellow kind of shows how on the meter, and I'll try to scroll through and show you some of that, I mean, but really nice display on this radio, but, it, you know, a lot of menus, and once you get the hang of it, you really enjoy this radio, um, I bought this one mainly with all my research because of pretty much being a ham shack in a box. You know, covering all your HF bands and then your 2 meter and 70 cm. So I've got, you know, it's just a good all around rig. And at the time it was a, just over a thousand dollars. It was, I think I got it for a thousand sixty nine plus tax when I, when I purchased it. Um, it is does seem like it's gone up some since um, right now currently it seems like it's a little over eleven hundred dollars and here's the here's some more of the settings I changed for, for like Vox select I'd put to data so that way that's why it said the D Vox you know um, the gain I kind of left those set right to what they were they're showing white anyways but I don't believe I changed any of that but you can see what settings I've got it at adjust it and 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 then adjust things from there on your settings once you get these basics down to, you know, what works for you with what your setup is. And we're 
come as you can see 153 menu items we're back at the top so that's all the menus readjust here my so you can see you know that's the main menu parts of it one thing I've written you can see how I got the scope let me see if I can go to let's go to 40 turn the volume down here's my 40 meter band as you can see the uh, the spectrum and the scopes really colorful and stands out and that's how I've got it kind of set preset this is on my vertical HF antenna that I've got the uh, high gain AV 680 nine band vertical it's worked really well so far for me and you can see kind of a lightish blue and when it's a real strong signal it'll turn to like a yellowish and orange in the in in the middle of those and you can see my spectrum scopes in red above it just really all stands out and stays clean well that was what I've got for all the menus um, hopefully that helps you get started get things rolling a good starting point so if you like what you're seeing so far please subscribe to the channel and you know like any of the videos you do it really helps the algorithm so i appreciate you watching and get on the air